Hello divers again. This is Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000 with another tech tip. Maybe some of these ideas will make sure you have more fun, make your diving easier, and maybe a little bit safer too. Today we're going to talk about your regulator. In fact, specifically we're going to give you some technical information. Now please, right from the very beginning, let me tell you that this is not designed to make you a service technician. This does not replace by any stretch your annual service or your semi-annual or your biannual service for your regulators. Most regulators now get service every two years, depending on the amount of diving you do. Absolutely not. You still need to take your regulator to a professional technician for proper service. Only he has the proper tools, the factory authorized parts, the training, the technical background, the service uh, uh, guidelines, and the testing equipment to test your regulator properly. Remember, your life does depend on this device. However, there are a couple of things that you can do to your own regulator. That will make the regulator a little bit easier to work, might make it last a little bit longer. They're all, they're all good things. Let's take a look at our regulator first of all. A little bit of a lesson here. First of all, and you recognize this, this is a pretty standard regulator system today. It has a first stage which goes on to the tank. This is called the first stage, this chrome thing with the big knob on it. You all know that. And then the second most important part is the primary second stage is called. This is the part that goes into your mouth. Primary is a good word for that. This goes into your mouth. This is what you breathe from. <laughs> That's the second stage. So you have a first stage and you have a second stage. At one time, this was a regulator. That's all there was. We didn't have octopuses. Well, we did, but we ate them. We didn't have low pressure hoses for BCs because we didn't have BCs. It was simple. We didn't have pressure gauges, underwater pressure gauges. So the regulator was a first stage and a hose and a second stage. That was it. When I started diving, that's all we had. Actually, we didn't even have that. But anyway. Now, today we have some other devices attached to this first stage. We have another Second stage, this goes into a mouth too, but this is called a safe second because this is the one, as you know, you give to your buddy if he runs out of there. Longer hose, usually bright yellow, clearly marked, so he grabs that one and he can breathe and, and, and take care of himself if he's run out of there. Also attached to this first stage, well, almost in the first stage you'll almost invariably have a pressure gauge. You may have more. If it's a modern regulator, up to date, you'll have a pressure gauge. You may have a compass and you'll probably have a computer. Most divers today are computerized. This is your console, your dashboard, if you like. And also on a modern regular, there's another hose here, at least one more hose. This is a low-pressure inflator hose. This particular one on a standard regular goes to inflate your buoyancy compensator. Some divers may have another one of these, which is used to inflate their dry suit. So this is a modern regulator. Maybe better called a regulator system because of all these extras. The first stage is a very complicated, very sophisticated piece of machinery. It can only be touched and serviced by a service technician, an authorized service technician, not just a guy down the street who's been fixing regulators for a long time. Make sure that the person you take it to is authorized for your brand. Take that to him. He can also check the, uh, the uh, low pressure inflator. He can check the swivel pin on the high pressure gauge. He can check all kinds of things that you can do. But what can you do to make sure your regulator functions, lasts a long time? Well, there is one thing you can do, and it has to do with all these stages I've been using. Let's take a look at the second stage. The second stage, as you recall, is the part that goes into your mouth. Here is your primary second stage. This is the part that goes into your mouth. The primary second stage actually gets the most abuse because sometimes it's dragged through the sand. Don't do that. Sometimes it isn't rinsed very carefully. It has salt water all the time. It has saliva in there. If you have a bit of a cold, it might have more than just saliva. Anyway, there's things in there that aren't very good. They're not good for the regulator. And they can cause corrosion and they can cause it to malfunction. What can you do? Of course, you can rinse it as you should do after every dive, fresh water or salt water. You should take the regulator system, put the dust cap in place, submerge it entirely in water and let it sit for a while. Take the second stage and shake it really, really well. Make sure lots of water goes down through the mouthpiece, out through the exhaust ports. Don't press the purge button. Maybe we'll talk about that in the future tech tip and explain why. And that does a pretty good job. But you know, the second stage, we get them all the time. Get sand in it, get salt in it, all kinds of seaweed, all kinds of strange pebbles from the from a beach, I suppose. All kinds of strange things. And you can actually do a little bit of this service yourself. Watch carefully. Most second stages are very familiar. Take a close look at your second stage. The odd one is strange. If you have an odd looking one, doesn't look a little bit like this, don't touch it. Leave it for your service technician. But watch how easy this is to do. Most second stages have a cover with a ring that threads on to hold the cover in place. Normally you can just take your hand and with a little bit of pressure take that cover off. 
be careful. Some second stages, this is one, also has a little lock pin right down here. The lock pin is easy to get out. Use a small screwdriver, pry the tip of the lock pin up a little bit, and then once you get it up a little bit, you can take a pair of pliers, grab a hold of that lock pin, and just grab it and it pulls right out. Don't lose it. You want that. That lock pin keeps this threaded cover ring from coming undone. Now you can just fairly easily unscrew the ring, and the ring comes off. Under the ring is the cover with the name on it. That comes off. Now, under the cover, there may be several things. There may be a, another plastic ring like this. This is called a friction washer. This simply allows the cover to screw on without grabbing the diaphragm, so it doesn't twist the diaphragm. So there'd be a ring like that. Lay these things out in order. Okay. Then lastly, and there may be a couple more parts in there like this, but they're all related. Just keep the order right. This is the diaphragm. This is a device that moves in and out when you draw in to push on the lever to give you air. There you go. There's your whole second stage. It's really quite simple. So what do you do now? Don't press the lever. If you press the lever and there's water in here, it will go up the hose and hurt the first stage. We don't want to do that. But now you can certainly rinse this out. Take a toothbrush. Make sure that the threads are clean like so. Any sand in there, clean it out very, very carefully. Make sure it's all nice and clean and shiny. The diaphragm is very important. Rinse it really, really well in warm, soapy water. And then rinse the soap off it really well. Make sure there's no holes or tears in it. Let it dry. The friction ring as well. Make sure it's nice and clean. The cover, just brush it up. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get all the sand off it. The cover ring will almost invariably have threads on it. Clean the threads off again. You see what I'm using? A highly technical brush. Now, this is from gum. Anyway, use a brush like this to clean the threads off. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Now, put it back together. It's really very simple. Put the diaphragm in. Make sure the diaphragm fits down properly. There's a little groove. The diaphragm fits nice and smoothly into the groove. Whoops. Set that in like so. Just don't uh, take pictures of me making mistakes here, Kevin. Just put it down in the groove very, very gently. Don't puncture it. Now the friction washer goes on top. Just reverse any order. And now the cover goes on top of that, like so. And now your cover ring. A little bit of silicone grease on those ring threads, on those threads, isn't going to hurt. There's a cover thread, screws on like that, just turns on slowly around like that. Make sure the cover lines up and get it around properly, and you'll come and you'll find the hole on the side. Take your locking pin and force a locking pin into the hole, just like that. And that's all back together, just that simple. You've completely serviced your second stage. Make sure put it on a tank, make sure it's working perfectly, the cover ring is snug, and smile. You've cleaned up your second stage, maybe delayed some necessary service. Now when you put it in your mouth and you dry in, you know you're going to get clean air, no sand or anything else. Nice little tech tip. If you feel up to it, give it a try. It's really, very simple. This is Alec Pierce, Scuba 2000. I hope this has been fun. Bye-bye, divers.